Hey! You! I told you to never come to these parts ever again. I'll come wherever I want to come. Well, listen. We don't talk like that here. It's a PG-rated anime neighborhood, okay? I came here to come. <laughs> listen, enough of this! What are you doing with my girlfriend? She is the town queen. <laughs> Not your girlfriend. I will throw my Pokemon at you. Enough of this! Come Men of Doozy! Hi! Hi! <laughs> wow! Mandoozy podcast. You're huh? probably thinking, what the hell does that even mean? They're out of practice yeah. with that our, old open. Our cold opens are getting worse. <laughs> worse and worse. <laughs> and worse and worse. You know, but the word doozy means something that is extraordinary or outstanding of its kind. And we are not that. But we want to be, and we're getting so desperate. We're so, <laughs> we're so desperate. We're so desperate, we're wearing wigs to do it. Yeah. And furthermore, this is the podcast where we're going to give you all the tools you need to become successful in life. How do yeah. I do this? How do I do that? How do I understand this? Exactly. How do I embody every single aspect of this character that is not real? Yeah. And uh, the best part is we're going to we're gonna just embarrass and degrade ourselves <laughs> the, for the uh, next 45 until minutes. There's, <laughs> for, like, for, until there's just no shame left. Yeah. Um, to hopefully become successful so that you can learn from us. Makes you know? sense to me. Mm. <sighs> What's my name? What's my anime name? <laughs> you're you're Alex Sun. I'm Alex Sun. What's my anime name? Um you're, you're older than me, right? Ye uh thirty two and July. Yes. So, so I'm calling you your Kirk Senpai. <laughs> my name is Kirk Senpai Cos. <laughs> um Hey, Senpai, what are we going to talk about today? Well, uh, Kirk Senpai. Uh, it's a Kirk Senpai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Honestly, <laughs> you, that actually senpai. was exactly yeah, right. You said that like, exactly right. Kirk Senpai. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, Kirk yeah. Senpai, yep. Yeah, and uh, Alex, Alex Son. <coughs> Alex Son. Because you're young and it sounds like son and you're like a child. Right. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> um, watch well, now. Alexon, Alexon, we, I think it's pretty evident from our appearance. It's always evident, right? <laughs> always evident. <laughs> always oh, evident yeah. We're not, podcast. we're, you know, um, we're, the mystery is always done. Um, <laughs> guys, it's a very, very popular form of, uh, um, artistic, uh, well, media? A, a media? Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. So glad we have a woman <laughs> in the studio <laughs> to really keep us on track today. Yeah. I will do my and best. And I don't say that ironically. <laughs> yeah. Like, thank God. It's yeah. been too long. Yeah. Um, anyways, we're talking how to anime. What is it? How do we understand it? Where, do, where does anime even come from? We have no idea, but we have a special guest with us today. Yes, who's, we who's do. Who's going to teach us everything about it. She is a Go, gonna try. <laughs> she's uh, uh, anime enthusiast. You you have a huge uh, yeah. TikTok following. <sighs> you TikTok are following. the go-to uh, recommendee in your friend group for any anime. You have an extensive amount of Funko Pops in your um mm. uh yeah. Any anything else I'm missing? Anything you want to shout out about yourself? Uh, or? I have an Etsy shop that also sells anime merch. So that's right. <laughs> she Etsy sells shop. anime she merch. She sells it. I think she knows what she's. Talking about. I think so. so. Everybody, Maybe. please welcome Erica Graff. Yes. Hi. Yay. Hi, everybody. Yay. Thank you. Erica Sai. Erica, uh, what's that your anime name? Um, Erica Chan. Erica, Erica Chan. Chan. What does Chan mean? Chan is like more of like a cute, cutesy, like kind of girly honorific. Mm. Yeah. Now, we're, we're definitely not that. Kirk we're Senpai and Erica <laughs> Alex Sun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alex Sun, Kirk Senpai, and Erica Chan. It's true. Technically, I didn't know that. I'm already learning so technically much. Technically, we would be. Well, I guess we are close enough friends, I guess. Usually in Japan, they use they refer to each other as their last names. If you refer to someone with their first name, it's like a really big deal. It's like family and like, mm. it's 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 kind of like a hey, do you want to like hold hands or like hey, do you want to like call me by my first name? Like it's all a right. Big so deal. you are stop son from moving <laughs> forward. Call me by I, my first name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to hold your hand, Alex. <laughs> it's a big emotional step. Gotcha. Yeah. So, 
before we, we you, you have provided yeah. us t- the top five tips on how to ma- anime different yeah. different ways to access how to understand them how to like you know I guess enjoy them or how to embrace the culture of it. Tell us a little bit about your experience with it, anime. When was the first time like you watched it? What kind of like clicked in you that you were like, I love this and I want this to kind of be a part of like what I do and what I share with people? Sure, absolutely. So I, like a lot of people in our millennial generation, saw anime on Toonami on like Cartoon Network, Mm. kind of like the old, like kind of not daytime television, but like right before it got to Adult Swim, there was like about four or five hours of just of like fighting cartoons and stuff like that. That's where I saw my first anime and I didn't really recognize that it was anime because I was, you know, a kid watching cartoons. I didn't know what it was. And I just saw samurais fighting and I was like, this I like, I just know, I don't know what it is, but I like it. And then I just kept watching what was available to me on cable. And then I started realizing, oh, anime, this is a thing. But because of, and it wasn't very popular back when, like when we were all in high school, I really kind of didn't publicly say that I liked it a lot because it would, you would get teased or you would get kind of like isolated from friend groups. It was like a real stigma on the genre back then. And then when I got out of college, I started watching anime when I went on tour with a with a uh, musical I watched anime in a bunk for like hours and I was like oh yeah no I love this again this is now my entire personality and I've mm. just have not looked back <laughs> since yeah. do, do you uh so in a nutshell you've been this secret hardcore anime fan since you were in like your early teens oh 100 percent and uh, did, did you but it was frowned upon uh, yeah. Did, yeah were did those you... the kids that wore like tails to school yeah and, and the, ears kind of i mean like no though the, 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 the i the to me the anime kids were the ones when we were at recess they come up oh. to you and they'd be like all right i gotta go and they Naruto their, run. Yes, the Naruto <laughs> runs. Yep. The oh, Naruto runs. Yep, they put 100%. their arms back and they yeah. would just run really fast. Yeah. There was this fat kid that would do it <laughs> at recess, and uh, he was fat, right? <laughs> Overweight, right? Nothing like stop. Nothing like me. I'll never forget. I think the most iconic use of the Naruto run was you. Yes, remember like four or five years ago, people were like Area Fifty One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a video of a yeah. guy like. <laughs> <laughs> running, yeah. running towards the entrance. Yeah, dude. Of Area Fifty One, and it's like that guy. Everybody. Yeah, that's the only way you can take down Area Fifty One. That's it. Everybody it's now nin- ninja skills. The it's their ninja way. While the government 100%. just guns down everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, so uh, Erica Chan, this is usually before we jump into the tips. We usually like to take a second and ask one another. Yep. Uh, have you ever animated before? Have you, do you have you ever watched anime before? Yes, you have. What have you watched? Well, back in the day, I uh, ne- never nothing like. I uh, see. I. I, I hey, try. it's okay. It's not <laughs> frowned upon anymore. It's true. It's not. You let your let your I tail. Let my tail out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let your red hair shine. Nothing like nothing specific. I was uh, uh, anime wise. I don't. Nothing like specific comes to mind. But I would try to watch like the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Or, Absolutely. Uh, but mm-hmm. but only like when it was I very saw it on like while, yeah. right? Only when like I would see it on TV. No, I wouldn't like try to like watch it like in you know a row or whatever. Oh yeah, if it was um, on. You'd, you'd watch. You know it. the yeah. Pokemon stuff. That's anime, right? Yeah. Pokemon. Okay. That's what's funny is that every I don't I don't care who you are. Everyone has watched anime yeah. growing up. Everyone whether they has, know it or not. Whether they know it or not. Digimon. Because uh, yeah, Digimon. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh. Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade. Yeah. Um, Beyblade. Yeah, all the classics. All those. Yeah, I like that yeah, stuff. there was a lot of there was only a few really available on like Western, like cable streaming, growing up, but. They were there, and they were very popular for a reason. So, like, everyone has seen it. Yeah. Whether you're like, I don't watch anime. It's like, do you like Pokemon? Guess what? <laughs> I'm, I've been in the same boat growing up. Like, I think I watched multiple episodes of Pokemon, but it was never I went out of my way and be like, what time is Pokemon uh, Pokemon on all this stuff? But I remember I had, a, a, like, a friend or two that were yeah. there. They were obsessed mm-hmm. with, like, Dragon Ball Z. Like, I never went out of my way to, like, watch it. But, like, when I did, I was like, Oh, this is some pretty crazy, crazy uh, stuff. Now, I was talking to you a few weeks ago before we were like planning on this episode, and I, th- I spoke 
to the fact that I think a part of the reason why I haven't watched much anime is because I, th- I've, I think I would like it too much. Mm. And I actually like I when and I like you, something like I become obsessed. Oh, you hyper fixate. I become yeah. obsessive now. In preparation you for this, up. in preparation for this, um, uh, this episode, I had to do some type of research. Okay, and so she knows. I watched the the two seasons of a uh, One Punch Man. So okay, good. which is one of the coolest like high, action, high quality, dude. High so quality. Good. Comedy shows I've ever seen. Like I'm laughing, and I'm also like, "Yo, that's badass!" And then I'm also like, "This is interesting storytelling." Um, One Punch Man, if you guys are listening, uh, is about a guy who ra- who that's he, it. He, he, listen, he he ran into like a uh, vigilante or some type of thing. This, this is a world where like superheroes and supervillains exist. Okay, exactly. So he he has an experience with it. And he kind of gets beat up or whatever. And he's like, never again am I going to let this happen. Mm. For three years straight, every single day, he did a thousand push-ups, a thousand um, like sit-ups, or, sit-ups crunches or, and, or crunches, and then ran like 10 miles. Mm. Every single day for three years to the point where p- he's he can kill somebody <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and people are like, so where did you get your powers? Yeah. Where did you get your powers? And there's like a cyborg who is like his, his yeah. right-hand man. And he's like, I will become as powerful as you. I will do anything. He's like, I, and, but he's like one yeah. punch man. He's like, I don't know. I'm yeah. just going to eat and so chill blase- some ro- And, and he's some so Robin. like blase about it because now nothing can literally beat him. So he's just so bored. Mm. So everyone tries to beat him. He's like, go away. Like yeah. it's, it, yeah. yeah. And he's so blase like, about it. Like there's a scene or two that like, he gets in a thing and he like punches somebody and then he's like, it's a like blood splatter and he's <laughs> like, oh not again! And he's like, he's all like, he wants no. to do is fight people, but no one can beat him. But he's nobody too can be. He has no challenge. So it's so I, I so as as we jump into these tips, like I'm so happy I did that because like I'm open to watching more anime. You know that that's there's cool. a lot of yeah, like mainstream buddy. that's. What, like Death Note and yeah. all these, what, Attack on Titan, those are like those top ones and mm-hmm. stuff, but mm. is I, there anything? I, I do have yeah. one question for you. For me? Um, no, Erica Chan. Oh. What's up? Um, where, these hairstyles. <laughs> 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 what, the ones when, you're I, when I think of anime, I think of like the craziest, but also oh, yeah. in the weirdest way, like the coolest hairstyles they, possible. Oh, yeah. And like where, like where hair, yeah, hair is like this, like a big, like important part of it, the anime. It culture. Explain it to us the is. drip. What is this? Anime. The because anime drip. he looks like an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a pineapple. That's, That's what he looks like. I look like a, yeah. bu- a, a turquoise blue pineapple. Yeah, exactly. Yes, you do. But it's so, it's so. The hair is just so perfectly. Oh imp- yeah. Like perfect. They could be one strand down. That one strand will never like never move. move or stray. Even or if like, you turn sides, it'll be yeah, on the same side. It'll make no same side, physical sense. Yeah. Right? And they'll get beaten up, but their hair will just remain perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. That's. I think that's just like a kind of a staple of the genre. It's kind of like memed itself just into existence. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not sure exactly where it... I'm sure it started like in the 80s and 90s when anime was, animation started really kind of like churning out a lot of product. But... Yeah, that's like that's a meme and an, like a joke where you like spot the main character in an anime and you just see the dude over here with like blonde mm. spikes and crazy ass hair and then everyone else just looks like a normal ass person and you're yeah. like, oh, that's the main character, yeah. right? Who, who's the main character? The one who when he's fighting his hair, yeah, doesn't move. <laughs> doesn't somehow. move. He looks good. He looks so good. It's true. What, yeah. What product do you use? I yeah, don't. I think. Oh, I, yeah. I, I want to say th- another thing. I mean, about hairstyles in anime. One Punch Man. He's bald. Through he's bald. <laughs> he's through bald. all of that work. He's bald. <laughs> now he we're lost, talking, baby. He has like no of, eye, like he's yeah, he has no hair. He lost all his hair in the training, and like it's like That's a sore spot. To me. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. I've been training my whole life for this. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, the the anime the anime drip the anime outfits and hair it's it's quite it's quite it's a, iconic. It really it is. is iconic. Yeah, dude. So. Is there anything that you want to say before we jump into these tips and just kind of explore this topic? Um, I do want to say this flat out. I am a I am a white woman. I am not okay. of Asian descent in any kind of a way. I only know what I have viewed in my years of watching anime, but there might be stuff that I interpret differently that is not 
what it actually might be. So this is just my experience with anime as a Western viewing Caucasian woman. Mm -hmm. So it's entirely, I, there's no intention to appropriate or take the culture as mine or whatever. I just appreciate it for what it is as an art form. Mm -hmm. Well, we balance well, that well, out. I'm by gonna being, ruin. <laughs> be gonna, but while you guys ruin it, we balance will, it out. We yeah, balance no it out by gonna being. gonna care, you know, if you offend somebody because I'm gonna get ca I get canceled every episode. Every single so episode, you get it. Like, oh no, yeah, that's. I just wanted, to, just wanted to make. I, I, I appreciate that. Make sure. We'll we'll make up for it by being, as you said earlier, um, God level Vegetas. <laughs> Like, God level I'm going fajitas. Home. I, this is gonna go so <laughs> so, so um, sideways. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, why don't we that get our God level <laughs> Vegeta's diving into these? Yeah, I'll, I will one punch. Okay, okay, that's okay. So, okay. The number one, I will one punch. <laughs> I will one punch this. Guys, the <laughs> uh, uh, number five tip on how to anime is there's an anime for that. No matter what non-anime show you may like. I guarantee you there is an anime equivalent. Mm -hmm. Anime office. Yes. What? What's it called? Um, let me think. Oh, it's a uh, Watakoi. It's literally an office Water romance. Watakoi. Yeah. It's literally what? What? the long the Water long Koi. title is Watakoi Love is Hard for an Otaku. It's like it's an office place romance. Agretsuko is another one that's like the office where it's just office based hijinks and people who hate their jobs and want to be adults but don't know how and like their boss is awful and it's just yeah there how do is, I get on that? There is, there is an equivalent I was actually thinking of you the other day when I was watching it um, there is like thinking how much you love The Last of Us yes like if you like zombie found family kind of situation oh yeah there's an anime for that it's called High School of the Dead High School of the Dead mm -hmm. Stop, what's one of your favorite shows? There's Middle an anime School for of that. the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, not, that's not a show. What's one of your there favorite shows? There is an anime for that. <laughs> is there a, like a CSI? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Peaky Blinders? Um, ooh, yes, actually. Kind of. Like a, think like an, but not Irish Blinded mob. Blinded by the Peaky? And not an Irish mob, Italian mob, mm -hmm. but yeah, there is okay. that. Okay, okay. Two, I think, actually. Yeah. Okay. Like There's the, white, the White Lotus? White I, Lotus is satire I'm about not, the rich, yeah. the one pump one percent. Uh, ooh, probably. I'm sure there is. Absolutely. Yeah. The, basically, the whole point of that thing is that everyone's so intimidated because there's so much anime now. Like yeah. anime has become really mainstream. There is just an endless amount. People are intimidated by that, but that also can be a really good thing because if you know what you like, I guarantee you there's an anime equivalent to that. So oh, like, that, you can, I just remembered that is yeah. another like anime show that I used to watch was uh, that I actually liked but then I kind of I don't know what happened I stopped watching it but it was like it was way back in the day it was it was, uh, it was the pirate uh, the pirate one, one piece yeah yeah one yes piece. one piece that is that's one of the like they were, they were like eating fruit and the guy could stretch yeah really one piece is stuff. iconic that's the one that has like a thousand something episodes and it's yeah. been going since Whoa. 1992 yeah. yeah whoa yeah it's like it, that show is iconic yeah I, m I met someone in college who had like his entire back was like, like a one piece like thing. Whoa! Yeah, that show is like, like that, that show that is like away, a dude. that show is like a cult level show, but for a good reason. It's been around forever. Yeah. So this tip is is something I I'm so happy that this is the the first tip because I think uh, the reason why it's taken me so long to even try watching anime is because of that exact fact, like knowing that there's so much out there and knowing that there is. An anime out there, probably for you, that you're really gonna enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I think I just didn't know at the time, like throughout the years, like what I enjoyed. And I'm so glad that I started, like, with One Punch Man. I wanna try, uh, there's a new one out that apparently is like mind blowing called Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man's insane. Which Chainsaw is apparently uh, Chainsaw Man, the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you can explain. All right, it. I okay. I will. I'm excited to watch it's, it. So it's a it's a world where demons exist and demon hunters exist, and this main character he like kind of merges with a demon that he knows to like keep him alive. He's about to die, and he gets these demon powers where he has like this string in the middle of his chest that he pulls, and then he gets a chainsaw that comes out of his head, uh. and his <laughs> arms are chainsaws, and he kills other demons with chainsaw arms and a chainsaw head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, twelve episodes. <gasps> no, yeah, and it's and it is gory. It is so rated if, R. It his, is insane. And what if his like little chain gets like caught on something when he's like leaving? And you know what I mean? Does it make the noise? Oh, it makes the noise. Yeah, it, like it literally. <laughs> the chainsaw. Uh, they've thought of everything. The chainsaw <laughs> rips 
through his face and skull every time. Okay. Like so every and then it, and then it reforms back. and then it reforms. That's like, so <gasps> yeah. He's yeah. Like, what just happened? And, and and then like and everybody has different contracts with different demons. Different people have different powers. Like there's a gun demon. There's a like a samurai sword demon that does the same thing. Where shoots like, out of his feet. Yeah, yeah. or his face Ooh. or wherever. Yeah. So you're having you're having lunch, right? Yeah. You're having lunch and. You know, you're outside and you lean down to pick up something and you're eating a sandwich and the, the cord gets caught on something. And he, as he goes up, it, the cord pulls and his face just goes right through the sandwich. Probably. I mean, I don't think that the cord, I, he wears a shirt so he doesn't like get it caught. It just kind of sits underneath his clothes. But uh, yeah. Okay. Idiot. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to like bust yeah. your bubble with yeah. logic, yeah. but yeah. no. Excuse me. Listen, excuse me. Listen, the rip cord. <laughs> Listen, not Undercoat. every anime it's character just, is shirtless. Just, just, just. He is shirtless by the end, though. Usually, ah, uh, yeah. yeah, he is. Yeah. You gotta give the thirst trap. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. So I think the the biggest but takeaway is in trouble. He has to like. Oh, I'm yep. Gonna, okay. He does. Which is, that must be so funny to watch. Um, I would say the, the biggest... Show's I'm an idiot. The show's nuts. The show's nuts. I would say the uh, the biggest takeaway from this is the, it's it's okay. Like, you, there is an anime out uh, out there that you will enjoy. And one thing that I found is that now if I w- I'm in the mood to watch an anime, I'm just going to be like, hey, Erica, can you recommend something for me? No. Literally, I, I have no doubt you would offer your services to be like, let me know what type of stuff you're into, and L- I'll, I'll give you a list. Literally, I have seen... You're so that many person anime. in your yeah. friend I am. Group, right? I am the person in my in my normie friend group where I, <laughs> everyone. It's really funny because people are like, this happens to me at parties a lot where I'll like go to like a gathering or a bar or whatever, and I usually wear anime merch almost all the time. That's like my entire wardrobe. So if I'm wearing a more recognizable anime thing, someone will look at it and be like, "Hey, I've seen that. I really liked that." And then they feel comfortable enough to talk to me about it, and then it just then we just keep like just keep talking about anime. People just come up to me and they're like, oh my God, yeah, I watched an anime once and it was great. I'm like, yeah, you should watch more. Nothing is stopping you. Like, please, go. And, and nothing is and stopping both of their them. Tails are yeah, and they're yeah. all really excited. Yeah, I, I will have, bo- yeah, I have people at like the bank, the post office, if I'm wearing an anime thing, they'll be like, oh my God, that's Vegeta. And I'll be like, yeah, like I love Dragon Ball Z. And then we'll talk about it for like five mm, minutes. That's so it's awesome. It's great. Anime brings people together. It literally yeah. does. I've made my best friends because of anime. That's awesome. What's your if you could watch one anime the rest of your life, what would be your show? Mine is a show called Haikyuu. It's a volleyball sports anime. It is okay. my comfort anime. It is one of it is my my well, I have a favorite anime, but my favorite anime do is too, like... the come out of, like, their hands? No. Or they to they oh, no, no, no. <laughs> to oh, no, no, no. Th- that's they... what's funny is that, like, this anime is literally just a sports anime. It is about a volleyball... Nice. It's about a volleyball team in high school that trains and goes through, like, semifinals, finals, quarterfinals, and you follow this team as they play other teams. And it's li- it's it's so well-crafted, and the stakes are so high. It's like you're watching a real sporting event. It's so very good. The it's- last okay. dance... <laughs> Wait... Uh, well, but uh, volleyball and anime. <laughs> I just, I just want to point out that you know, as ridiculous as anime is, with the hair, <laughs> rip cords and chainsaws coming out of people's skulls, bald people uh, who you know, can punch yeah, you uh, and uh, kill vegetas you. and vaginas and all this Fajitas. stuff. <laughs> the you know, as Lots as crazy people. as as this like just just realm is. Your favorite out of how ridiculous all these shows are is just a simple volleyball. <laughs> that's match. so Literally. interesting. Yeah, that that shows you the span and like the gambit of anime. Well, it's probably insane. It's probably they serve in it and it's like. Oh, dude, yeah, the action <laughs> sequences. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. I would literally, sh- if I, if we had a moment, I could show it on the. I would show you a clip of like their. They're play by plays. It's so, like I said, it's so heightened. We'll see if Jose can put put something. Yeah, up, dude. Really. Like when if Jose, if you know Haikyuu or just look this up, when Oikawa serves when Abajosai plays Karasuno, that or Nishinoya does the either one. There's so many good action moments in that. Just as a sports fan, yeah, like you're watching wow. it like you don't know what's gonna happen, even though I've cool. seen it like seven times. It's like so that. good. Cool. Well, what 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 do you say we we uh, keep this moving along? Actually, I have one more thing. Oh, Ooh, there's so many questions for me. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> In terms of like, there's an anime for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. Are you gonna try to challenge me on this? Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring up uh, bring to light that you know some people don't like. You know, in terms of anime, the only kind of anime they like is like that. You know. 
the like the 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 dirtier side of the anime. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 100%. Uh, you know, are you asking for a friend? <sighs> I'm I'm looking like you're asking me about hentai right now. What hentai is that? What it's called? That's a, that's animated like Japanese animated porn. The, that's okay. the term is hentai. Okay. So if you're looking for like an alligator and like a goose with a chainsaw man, you know. There, I mean, I don't know about an alligator and a goose, but I do. There are absolutely. So here's the thing. Just like monsters on monsters type oh, of yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah. There there are anime. There's so there are. <laughs> <laughs> So the the gambit spans a lot, like right. Like you get like no sexual. You can get a show that at it's a romance, and at the end of it, they just like hold hands or something, and that's as far as they get. That's the build up. Dope. That's yeah, like or then there's that's ones more Kirk or then there's speed, or, right? or, or, and then there's ones that are like more <laughs> adult, where like they have a relationship and they and they are adults and they have sex. Like you don't actually see the sex, but it's like alluded to it, like in most dramas and such. Mm-hmm. And Dope. then there are full. On animated shows that are meant to be pornographic, mm. and they show the animated sex. Let the record show that Stobson uh, stopped <laughs> the <laughs> momentum of the podcast to, about to ask about hentai. Uh, about hentai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're still on. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 excuse me. No, it's we're true. It's on? actually it's very funny because that's a, also a part of oh, it the anime a, no, it world, It absolutely right? is actually. So there's, it's very funny. There was a, sh- a Funimation, which has now been bought by Crunchyroll, was one of the main anime streaming services out there for the past like ten years or so, more even. They had a show. This I remember this happening during like pandemic or something. They had a show on. I can't remember the name of it. It's one of those really long, stupid names that was basically about like fantasy adventurers that go to different brothels in this like fantasy world and like try different brothels and then rate the women they have sex Whoa! with. Whoa! And this was a show that was put on the streaming service for anybody to watch and then it got canceled after two episodes because they were like, oh shit, there's legit porn. Yeah. And like, n- I don't know what the process was of like filtering that to get it on. What in the? It was on, I saw it on Pornhub like a month later. What? But yeah, it was nice. on a streaming service and Funimation was like, oh, fuck. And then they pulled it. Erica, how much uh, anime do you find on Pornhub? I just want to do yeah, that. Yeah. I just, that comment right there, I found it on Pornhub a month later, right? Yeah. That's, all right, so. <laughs> um. I forgot what I was going to say. The, Let's move on. <laughs> 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 the top four tip, everybody. <sighs> <coughs> you don't need to be niche, okay? Some might believe that you are more of an anime hipster if you watch an anime that nobody's heard of, but popular animes are popular for a reason. So you don't need to find some obscure anime to watch in order to watch something good. Mm-hmm. That's why when I was asking, I was like, you should, like you were saying, there's like you a should billion start. Of them. So you could, you could yeah. find your own that no one's ever really it's watched. True. And then it's, it's like true. You could, one. but like, yeah. So that's kind of, so for people that are not like, that don't subscribe to anime streaming sites or don't, right. you know, don't have that kind of access to, a, to like the mass media that is anime. There are ones that are available on Amazon, on Hulu, on Netflix that are popular for a reason, like anime that like, sometimes when you get like really popular shows, sometimes they're, they're, they're just not anime and normal television. Sometimes they're just bandwagon popular and that they're not actually good quality, but like everyone just loves them because you hate watch it, you trash watch it, whatever it is. Like sometimes you'll see something like, why is that popular? I don't get it with anime. <laughs> like that is Ripcord Chainsaw Man. No, that's popular for a reason because it's good. Okay. It's actually apparently very good. Like it is the storytelling ver- is very, very, it's very, like, well very, done. it's very good. That's what's interesting about anime is that if it's not good, it won't be renewed. You well, also if there won't be renewed, even if it is good, but that's a whole other thing. But <laughs> no. yes, but no, but seriously, like if anime is good, uh, the the anime that is popular is popular for a reason. Like yeah. if it wasn't good, it wouldn't keep going. That's why when his girlfriend breaks up with her. <sighs> <laughs> yep. Actually, I think you might like this one, Stop, because his Denji, who is the Chainsaw Man, that's the main character. Denji. Denji is his name. Yeah. His goal in life, like he, the people are like, what are your goals? You're a protagonist. What are your goals? He wants to touch boobs. He wants to kiss a girl, touch and boobs. And why would I like that? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You know what? So this is kind of I'll see re- it on Pornhub later. This is you, a, you might. This is this is why I think when uh, as a 
just like a first jump into watching, a uh, real jump into watching, I think is why, like, you were, you gave me, like, three. It was, like, Death Note, uh, I think I gave you Death Demon Slayer. Note, One, One uh, Punch Man. I and I mean, uh, the the elite across the whole board is, like, people at one point, they have to watch Attack on Titan. Yeah, I think so. Because apparently a it's, lot of it's people very, very good. think it's, yeah. But now, uh, a quick question. Mm. Is the adaption of uh, Invincible considered anime no because no, it did not. not anime is japanese animation that comes out t- tvs and television gotcha. and movie that comes out of japan specifically out of japan. that's why like chi- like chinese animation is not considered anime it's its Avatar. own other genre nope it did not come out of japan so it's not considered an anime gotcha. but that is like that's a th- that is a thing that people will like it's an honorary anime because it has oh, similar styles of storytelling yeah but it's not technically considered an anime because it doesn't come out of japan Wow. Okay. Yeah, j- anime is literally definition from Japan. Same with manga. It is from is a Japanese. I didn't source. know that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. No, I, I mean that kind of explains because I know like a year ago, uh, Disney Plus had uh, Star Wars Visions, which was a, v- a specific. I think it was like eight or so episodes of short episodes, anywhere between like five to fifteen minutes, and they were. Uh, I think they were for the most part Japanese animation. There was some really fucking cool. Was that like, like the was that the samurai one? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. It was like it was like a seven samurai yeah, type of dope. like like Sith. Oh, it was so cool. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, and there was another one where like it was like a like a alien band playing at the speedway uh, at Tatooine. It was like okay, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, sure, why not? It was a musical number. I was like, absolutely, <laughs> why not? I was like, eh. but. but, <laughs> but but yes, I think that like back to the point is that like there are there are shows like One Piece, for instance, that have been around for literal decades and are still popular, are still relevant, still sell manga, still make episodes, everything. And they're popular for a reason and they have a cult following for a reason. So I don't so people that are like, oh, I don't want to watch Naruto. I don't want to watch Demon Slayer because like I see the merch and hot topics. So it's sold out or whatever like no it's good for a reason it's yeah. popular and making money for a reason mm-hmm. yeah gotcha watch the good stuff yeah you'll enjoy it yeah it's a good it's also it's also there's easier access to it because it's been plastered everywhere like westernized like you know what i mean it's been english dubbed you can watch it in, yes. in, in, in english yes. is, is anime strictly just like video or is it also like a comic thing too? No, uh, the comics are manga specifically. Oh, okay. That that's the, uh, it's, the it's the book the that you read the opposite way that you would read a normal book just because that's how it's printed in Japan. Mm. And then an- anime is animation, Japanese mm. animation, whether it's uh, movies or TV. So like Studio Ghibli, uh, Miyazaki is anime because it is Japanese animation. Studio Ghibli is like one of the like the top industry anime mm-hmm. uh, white right sure like, is. what are some of the ca- what an oscar my, what an oscar for crying out loud what did, what did they win an oscar for uh spirited away spirited away one best animated feature gotcha so oh, i which one, which one did I, I so studio ghibli i was like on my way here <laughs> and i was targeted through like instagram and i saw a like studio ghibli Gib- ghibli Gib. Gib- ghibli uh if it if it was Star Wars, and it was like very cool. It was like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the animation style. Yeah. I've See, seen now I'm trying. To, I'm like remembered. I'm just I will randomly like have remember seeing. You've like taken movies, in some of these. You know, like, that's what I, I mean. Remember, uh, Everyone has like, seen anime. Like Everybody Howl's has. Moving Castle. Yes, is that my one? my favorite Ghibli that movie. One. Yep. That one. Then there was another one. It was like Princess something. Mononoke. Yeah. Mononoke. Yep. Again, I amazing. I remember seeing those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Everyone is. I everyone has a, seen I anime. A lot of anime. Everyone, as a kid, everyone yeah. has, and then no one remembers it until you're like, "Oh, this thing that you loved as a kid, anime." Wow. Guess what? wow. You know, look at us. Who would have thought? You know what? We're making friends, We're which all... is probably a great way to segue into the third tip, which is hente. <laughs> 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 I'm out. I'm out. Bye. The top. Bye. The, the top three tip is make anime friends. Yes. Wow. Making anime friends is a good way to get more recommendations because if you share. A show interest with someone, they will most likely have a show that is similar that you will also enjoy. My question, I, I think I've seen you post about this in the past and stuff. Have you gone to conventions and certain things that mm-hmm. uh, so what are like the top conventions for anime and what like that and are what does everyone's hair look like? Insane. Um, <laughs> so I mean they're all they're all either they're all wigs. Yeah, it's all this. Yeah. 
But yes, I've gone to a couple conventions. Um, there are specific anime conventions, like Anime NYC is one that I've been to that I really, really enjoyed. I met a lot of friends there. And then Comic-Con, because anime has gotten so mainstream, it is very present in things like New York Comic-Con, LA Comic-Con, um, like Wizard World or any other. There's a bunch of cons all over the country that are for anime or have anime in them now. Pretty much almost all of them do. Because, like I said, it's so popular now that they just have anime cons all over have the country. Have you dressed up? Oh, yeah, I cosplay. Fuck yeah. yeah. What, what are well, some may, of the maybe characters? Maybe we'll, we'll show some pictures. Well, of, definitely. Uh, what are yeah. some of the, your favorite like, um, characters? The one that, that I'm really proud of. I haven't, I've only cosplayed a couple of times in like public. When, when the pandemic hit, a lot of people started cosplaying on TikTok. Because, you, one, you only had to film from the waist up, which was great. You didn't have to wear the whole full costume. But it was just a really fun place to, like, try cosplay and try makeup tips and everything. So that's kind of where I started cosplaying. But my favorite one that I'm most proud of, I think, is, like, I did a gender bend of Trunks from Dragon Ball Z for Anime NYC last year. And I, I styled the wig myself. I made my hair. I did the hairline. I made the. I bought and sewed and made the costume. I had shoes commissioned. It was so fun. That's so cool. It was really fun. I, lo I love cosplaying, I'm, but yeah. That makes me think about like, you know, yeah, Comic-Con and, and certain conventions oh, yeah. and stuff that I like. Like I uh, love. One of these days I, I want to You should go. You, I mean, I, you should, just, if you want to, you could also, you also don't have to. Like that's kind of what's nice about yeah. conventions is that. Well, some, you've got the hair. You're, you do have the hair uh, now. It's true. You're, you're, you're on your way it's there. It's true. You don't, <laughs> yeah. Are, are there people that have, uh, you know, that weren't wearing wigs, but just naturally have like anime hair? No, because that shit's not sustainable. <laughs> No, no amount of hair gel and anything could be, could ever possibly sustain like a Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> hey, hairstyle. Uh, let's take a little break here. You know, all this uh, this hair talk, hentai talk, rip change. That's the and, only thing you're going to take from uh, this episode is the hen hentai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All for naught. I was only here to brought, talk about you anime know, porn. That's it. Quick That's break. it. Now that you're here, let's talk about what, what, what I want to talk about. All right, we'll be right back after the break, everybody. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hi. Dur during this break, you know, we, we just want to shout out uh, our YouTube. Check yes. us out on YouTube. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. We're on literally every streaming service but of course, you can think of. The, the place where the party is at always is Instagram. That's where you can see our trailers. You can see our content. You can access all of the links, basically, from there. Yeah. But, like, also, it's just it's fun. Yeah, you know, it's it a is. fun place. It's fun. Look at us. Look at us. And you get to uh, see you. Erica Chan, where where can everybody uh, see your stuff? Um, I am on TikTok at a Jersey dot Kauai, with mm. two eyes. Um, I'm also on Instagram as Erica Schmerica eleven, and my Etsy shop is also Jersey Kauai, with two eyes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's and the only media is, that matters to me. This is yeah, our uh, favorite part of the podcast where we check in with our editor, yeah. Jose. Um, Jose, Poor how Jose. do you think the episode is going? Why don't you let us know what's your favorite um, uh, anime and um, what's your anime name? The episode's uh, going great. You can call me whatever you want. Jose, Andre, whatever, Pizarro-san. My favorite anime... I guess would be Death Note. Death Note's like incredible. I recommend that to everybody. But I also started a TikTok series where I talk about every episode of My Hero Academia. So if you would like to, to basically watch me watch My Hero Academia for the first time and give you a minute to two minute long summary of each episode, uh, go on my TikTok. Link is somewhere. Uh, but yeah, ba back to you guys. Let's go. Wow. Oh, he, he is he, fat. He is a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hoot, isn't he, Erica? Yeah. I like Jose. Yes. Well, great yeah, hair, me too. by the no, way. Yeah, me too. Great hair. He's got, He's He's got, got some borderline anime He's hair. He's got the good big, hair. big curls. Yeah. It's, 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 it's almost obnoxious how good his hair is Yeah, sometimes. it is. It is. Yeah, I'm jealous because, you know, he's got something like this. <laughs> Uh huh. And I don't have that. Yeah. I'm more of a yeah. one punch man. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, exactly. It. I've always said that about you. Alex. Yes. <laughs> Again, I'm. Uh, yeah. I've always said that. You know that about. I me. look like a island I, boy. Island boy. Um, a popsicle. Uh, 
Uh, I'm a watch hand tie tie. <laughs> um, I'm a rip my cord. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's jump back into the anime um uh, tips. Hey everyone, we're back. We're back. God, I am horned up. <laughs> oh my. A lot happened while we were on the break. A yes, lot happened. Yes, yes. Ooh! <laughs> All right. No more talking about head tie. No more talking about... I highly doubt that. But, okay. <laughs> but I do want to say, during like the, you know, if if they're having like, a, a, you know, an orgy, right, in these head ties... Remember the, when he said the, no more talking about hentai yeah, yeah. and now he's, he's like, like let, yeah. me just, let me just talk about orgies it's, for a minute. When they're impressive in impressive the, because the hair just doesn't move still, you know? Yeah, like, it's still on the hair. Yep. There's a lot of like physic defying things in anime. I mean, for how big anime is, you can't not acknowledge <laughs> the porn aspect. No, of it's it. you're 100% it's, it's true. It's like 300 times the, you know, the fan base there. What well, uh, the what? The fan base 300 times? Yeah, times 300 times. Mm. The, like, Carry the root. Right. Yeah, root. Yeah. yeah. What are you saying? Well, that's Osley's triangle, yeah. That's Osley's triangle. <laughs> Solve I'm, for I'm saying, C. like, the fan base X. of anime, you know, is not as big as the fan base for hentai. <laughs> Hard disagree. Wow. But that's Listen, fine. Uh, uh, why don't we just have you guys switch, <laughs> um, uh, I'll switch be over seats? Here. Yeah. I'll be over yeah. there. Um, uh, why don't you know <laughs> it's um, uh, uh, we that's the last the final I'm two say. episodes. That's the last I'm going to say about yep. it. Yep. All, All right. 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 Let's, let's go back to the normal stuff. Yeah. Let's go back to the more normal stuff. Number two, everyone. Number two, everyone. <laughs> Take it at your own pace. Right. Just because you enjoy an anime does not mean you have to immediately buy cosplays or go to cons or learn Japanese or buy tales. You know, you could also just be an anime fan light on the lighter side. That's true. You know? I th- yeah, I, I think that's another intimidation factor is that people assume that when you're granted, I have a hyper fixation personality. So like when I like an anime, I really like an anime and I will buy merch. I will buy whatever. Mm. I will go to cons. I will dress up. But you don't have to do that to like anime. You could just watch the show and be like, I enjoyed that. Moving on with my life. Like you could also just do that. I think that's a big thing that happened even with the pandemic. Like in the past few years, when there is a fan base for something, it is, it, it's almost intimidating. Yeah. That adds to, it's like, uh, there's like this rite of passage like you have to take it all in. You have to know your, you have to have your knowledge. You have to like know this and this and this. It, it's, it can be intimidating. Yeah. I, I and no you absolutely yeah. don't have to do that. Yeah. Like the idea of like asking like, do you dress, like, do I have to dress up? It's like, no. You don't, if you want to, if that's like what you are feeling, if you really like that character and you want to, and you like that costume and you want to wear it for Halloween or something, go for it. Who cares? Would you say you're a a big enough fan where like if someone who also considers themselves like a big enough fan, if they say something about like a show that's wrong, will you get like angry and like try to correct them on it? Oh, 100%. I mean, I won't won't get angry. That's how I feel about like certain video games or yeah, certain yeah games. it's like, but especially when you're passionate and like i like I, I've, I've actually had this argument with my boyfriend andrew a couple of times because he will like who was also on the podcast on the pod- out of apple he out was products, yes, yes he was he he will like he I, I just started getting him into anime and he's watched a couple of shows and he's really liked them with me and i'm like kind of slowly introducing him and he'll like say an opinion and when Andrew says opinions he says opinions and they're hard opinions and there's like this is my opinion and I'm Andrew Goebel and I think this and then I'll be like well no that's actually not the case because of x y and z and then he'll be like well wh- what do you know and I'm like I know a lot <laughs> I know so much more than you mm-hmm. so like I will that part of me exists and like it is a there is a little bit of toxicity I acknowledge that in myself but yeah I think if you are passionate about it you definitely want to talk about it and you want it's like you like it's like when you it's like if you know bird facts. If someone says a bird yeah. fact wrong, you're like, no, the golden finch does not live in this city. You live in that area. Like, and yes, you uh, correct I, always, I always get that wrong. Always Idiot. get that wrong. Yeah. He's wearing a shirt and not the, the rip cord. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah I, yes, that is. I will correct people usually, but again, you also don't have to be the person that knows all the anime facts. You could just watch the show, enjoy it, and then, like I said, move on with your day. Just because there's a hardcore fan base doesn't mean that you have to be a hardcore fan. It's true. (laughs) I didn't say anything. No, I know. (laughs) I was just checking in. That silence was palpable. I was just checking (laughs) in. (laughs) (laughs) The goldfinch, by the way. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
So, um, you know, but you do hate, you gotta, but like when you're on the other side, like when we were at the last of us thing oh, and dude. we were standing there, we were there, at the last of us premiere and we were yeah. just like, that guy's never played the game. Yeah. It what was, it was hard here? to be able to be yeah. like, this is a bunch of fucking TikToker influencer, like social yeah. media creators during the hour and a half. There was a guy who was like, Oh, Oh shit. Oh, that's crazy. I'm like, motherfucker, shut the fuck up. We are watching this thing that we all love. And obviously, this is your first experience. What are you doing out of here? Get out of here. Go home and spend the next <laughs> week playing part one and part two. Yep. And cry yourself to sleep for a few days. And then realize after a week of therapy, be like, I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. That, that was a glimpse at the other side of fandom where okay? I'm like, where it's like, Never. Do you see that? I did. Did you see that? Where, where it's like, I am he the almost, best fan. He, 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 he almost he went, went Super Saiyan. He, he, he really did. He went full Super Saiyan. He almost went full Super Saiyan, dude. I went full Super Saiyan. No, you did. I, I've done that. I've actually done that, too. There, I've seen a couple of anime movies in the theater. And that kind of looked like that. Just yeah, <laughs> no, like the, I remember there was like I, I remember this very distinctly. I was my my actual favorite anime, which I I wouldn't watch it a million times because it's too emotionally draining. I would be so depressed if I did. Mm. But I there was a movie that came out and I went to go see it. I was so excited. I saw it by myself and there were people that were like shouting at the screen like it was Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I literally stood up and mommed the whole place. I was like, we did not come here for this. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone was like. Oh shit! And then I sat back down, and we all watched the movie again in silence, and it was great. But like, oh yeah, demand. Come here for this. Demand I was, respect. I was so from upset. I was like, I have waited year. I waited to see this on film for years now since I saw it was announced. You will not ruin this for me with your stupidity. I yeah, I did yeah. that. There was a part of me at the premiere. I was like, yo, hey, we get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. this outbreak is happening in the middle of the last of us yeah crazy oh my god oh there's mushrooms all this stuff just will you shut up mm -hmm. that's one with the clickers right yeah yeah we haven't seen them yet but Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 this like <laughs> no we're not talking about it <laughs> we're gonna segue no. we're gonna segue no, into we're a go video we are yeah. now at the top <laughs> one tip the top tip the top one tip <laughs> is most important keep an open mind mm. this is a two-fold question one is about the medium itself. The other is about people who watch anime. Mm. This is okay. One is okay. <laughs> Keep an open mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'll talk about the media part of it first. Okay. So, yeah. so basically, the thing that I come that I come in contact with a lot of people that watch anime is that it is media from a different country, right? So that country's culture, its history its social norms, its everything are all innately are ingrained in its media, right? And until its and until its culture changes, its media won't change. Same thing with America, same thing with any any place else. So stuff that we as Westerners, if we're watching it, some things might red flag to us because we're like, that's what I, 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 can, I can think of a million examples, like age gap romances oh, or anything yeah. like like subject matter sometimes might red flag to Western audiences because of what how we grew up and what our culture is ingrained in. But in Japan, not as big of a culture shock over there. Or or even just animation style or any anything about it is basically like when you, as a Westerner, watch it, you have to be like, this is not going to be like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This is not going to be like some kind of, right. this is not an American cartoon. This is from, this is an Eastern media. And you have to keep that in mind when you're watching it. So, like, that's both for subject matter and, like, like in One Punch Man, it'll get derpy once in a while, right? You'll, like, oh, it'll it'll, it'll switch to, like... Exceptionally. Yeah, it'll yeah. switch to, like, derp animation and derpy things after a, a fight scene. And sometimes, if you don't realize it's coming, it's really jarring. You're like, what the fuck yeah. am I watching? Again, open mind. And almost you, like a completely different show. Yeah, show yeah, exactly. Like, like, you, oh, and you oh. kind of... <laughs> and, and that's just innately part of the media and the genre. You just kind of just got to roll with it and be like, this is what anime is. And so... Keeping an open mind about things like that is important because if you're really focusing on the things that like might be culturally different to you, then you're never going to be able to enjoy it, I think. Mm. Because then you're just getting on your high horse and lecturing people about how this is wrong or whatever. And it's like, it's wrong. It might be wrong or weird to you as an American, but to Japanese people right. who this is yeah. intended for, it's not weird. Yeah. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt. For sure. Mm -hmm. And now what would you elaborate on for the people who watch anime then 
Well, keeping I, an open mind. Just I speak for the, the ones. Fandom, I speak for the ones or? with tails. Um. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I speak for the tail. I people. speak for the tail the people. Who, the ones who believe that 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 they the are world, Naruto. They live yeah. in that world. Yes. Yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah, I think that this is, it's gotten a little better now because it's gotten more mainstream, but like the reason a lot of people growing up didn't want to watch anime is because the people that watched it were the weird ones, the nerdy ones, like the ones that would do like play Dragon Ball Z in the, in the playground or run, Naruto run through malls or like whatever. Don't get me wrong. We're all weird. We're all weird kids. Like in I, our own ways. Yeah. In our own ways. Yeah. But like, I think that when you think of an anime fan, like, I actually get this a lot, and it kind of annoys me. Like, people will be like, oh, you don't look like an anime fan. I'll be like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like a moderately, like, attractive white woman, so I, and I don't wear a tail, so I don't have an anime, I don't like anime, fuck you. Like, that's kind of. I, interesting, look, yeah. I, there, there were some oh, girls. Oh, no, here it comes. <laughs> Here. Here it comes. Look, Look there were <laughs> nine minutes and fifteen nine seconds. Minutes nine nine minutes and fifteen <laughs> seconds. It took him less than ten minutes to to to. You know where his head is at. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's there's some anime girls who were pretty freaky. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is that like <laughs> the goldfinch? The goldfinch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't see that coming, huh? Oh. Okay, you so no, no, please. Me? Yes, <laughs> yes, I was. was. I was for their enjoyment, for our he listeners. Knew. He knew. Erica, Erica, I knew. Erica, I know you more look, than you. For the record, yes. every episode, Kirk makes it such cool. Okay, <laughs> I think it's a joint effort, and you usually provoke me too. <laughs> okay. Listen, I, <laughs> give I, me the I'll give you. I'll give you. No, no, I'll give you an out. I was the one that literally brought up Pornhub, so like I will give you guys both an out on that. She made it sexual. I did. She made it, it was sexual. Me. Erica wait, wait, wait. made it sexual. <laughs> Erica made it sexual. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. Off yeah. top, yeah, hundred percent. I did, and yeah, you know what? That's true. So, oh, so baby, take, so take it off. <laughs> What I, are we gonna say? Please finish your thought. I want you to. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. You know. I don't want to like. Stop the flow. Blue ball here, your yeah. thought on okay, anime girls, hands, right? <laughs> let me, Kirk, let me ask. Uninterrupted. Here Does you go. the carpet match the dress? <laughs> <laughs> your hair looks like cotton candy, actually. Like it's got yeah. like a cotton candy vibe right yeah. now. One of your well, spikes is kind of <laughs> leaning, right? It's leaning. So you're not. Your hair's not perfect. Got to be up. Look at that. It's a, it's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. <laughs> yeah. it's a choice. Look at that. He's not fully powered up. Once he's fully powered Once up, it'll I'm all go straight. Uh, you, you know, it it was just a response to when I went Super yeah. Saiyan. It was like, boo. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Were you, you were going to say something, though, about anime girls? <laughs> I was going to say, there are uh, it's really, like, some girls with the tails really hot. It's true. You know? Honest, yeah. and I, so have yeah. an open mind. Yeah, have, have an open mind, especially when you're, when you're watching media, but also when you're talking to people that, you know, if you're scared to get into it because of the stigma that is on the people that watch it, mm. I think that get that, over yourself. Yeah, get over yourself. <laughs> get over yourself. Get mm. over yourself. Honestly, and also, and it's and you're right. A lot of anime fans, the demographic has shifted, and now a lot of so many people cosplay on OnlyFans as anime characters and make so much money. That is so true. much god dang money. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. No, it's true. That that is it is a you whole You can't new... not deny the whole sexual <laughs> part of it. No, there is People okay. are dressing up listen. as Pikachu. Yes, listen. You know what I'm saying? You're not wrong. This is I will I need to this is not a Look point, but I need to address this. Yes. Fan service as a part of anime and as a part of anime as a culture. It is a thing. It is innately ingrained in the media. You cannot avoid it. Mm. It is just what it is. Some anime has more fan service, some has less. Some have like perverted characters that are specifically made for you to like imprint on. So you're like, oh, that character thinks dirty thoughts. It's okay that I do. Like they are, it's innately ingrained in the media because. I, uh, do, yeah. um, what like show or character would that be? I'm just asking for a friend. Um, okay, well, let's go with one that everybody knows. Dragon Ball. Ew, Bo gross, where? <laughs> let's, um, <laughs> Ew, yeah, gross, where? Well, where can I watch it? One it I think that everyone knows is uh, in Dragon Ball Z, uh, Master Roshi, which is Goku's teacher, the old man with yeah. the glasses and the turtle shell, the biggest pervert of them all. He's, he literally carries around dirty magazines the entire time. He's like a known pervert. Jose, put, uh, put uh, <laughs> Master, Master Roshi, Roshi <laughs> up on the green screen and then put a <laughs> stop Perf face on it. Yes. No, it's Doesn't true. Doesn't he wear yeah. sunglasses? <laughs> he does. He does. He does. He does, dude. Yep. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> and, he, and he's bald, so take your wig off. <laughs> oh my god. This and is my real hair. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 yeah. But yes, I think fa- and fans. Well, I know who I'm going to yeah. be for Halloween. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> too rude. Honestly, <laughs> that's like really actually good cosplay for you. It actually would be really fun. Yeah. I'll walk around with dirty there. magazines with a Hawaiian shirt and right? a turtle shell. Yep. And a turtle shell. Duh. Because anime. Obviously, because you also, your name is Roshi, so you have to, you're related to Yoshi. Sure, why not? Okay. But yes, I think that it's, it is um, naive. Because he's a turtle? To, I, don't, I actually don't know why. I don't, I've, oh. I've, not, I've not ingrained into the Dragon Ball Z lore enough. I'll look it up on to give a sh- later. To give a shit about Master Roshi. But no, like it is, <laughs> fan service is a big part of anime and it's naive to think otherwise. So it's kind of like, if you don't acknowledge the elephant, the giant boobed elephant in the room. Yeah. That, that like, hello, that yeah. shirt's not big enough for hello. you. <laughs> yeah, my, th- there is an anime that I love that's called Fairy Tale, and there is, and all the characters, and, and like they, they have magic, they fight each other. It's lots yeah. of fighting and, and stuff. And they got triple D boobs. And they got triple D boobs that, and all, and whenever they fight, all their clothes come off except for like one band right here that just happens to stay right. the whole time. And you're like, they're holding, it's uh, just a piece of floss. Yeah, is dude. Covering, <laughs> no. It's covering their nipples. You're and 100% it never moves. right. It's true. And th- like and I said, in the woods and they're like, you don't take me seriously. And you're like, oh. <laughs> no, it's true. I will, yeah. So it is naive to think that fan service is not an innate part of anime. You can also watch plenty of anime that doesn't have any of that. If that's something that really makes you uncomfortable, then you don't, wait, you don't wait, have like to watch me. it. Wait, I'm so you, you've been using it. the, before we kind of wrap up, uh, you've mm. been saying the word fan service and I'd like to ask you what you, exactly your definition of that in the anime world would mean. Like, just like kind of upping what? <laughs> the, so, for a friend. So, so fan service is upping the I don't know the raunchiness. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, there is. It's the in, sexual nature. Yeah, it's innately sexual character oh, design. Okay. Char- um, See, like, we're all talking pos- about sex again. Posi- uh, we're, we're, it all comes <laughs> yeah, back to yeah, sex. It's, yeah, it's, it's character design. It's like <laughs> positions, circumstances you find yourself in, like, like it, an adventure book story. Kind of, yeah. Like yeah. there, there, there are animes where people have to have sex to like power up. Like it is a real. That is a real thing. So, moving you on. You and I. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yes, well, but that's yeah. That's why I'm so depleted lately. Yep. Yeah, yeah, well, that that explains the one thing falling <laughs> out. <laughs> Somebody have sex with me quick. I need to power up. I'm out. <laughs> Okay. Yes, but yeah, and it's and it's not. I will say, anime has gotten better about it not being just women. There's also like ma- like ser- like fan service that's centered around men for women as well. Like just gotcha. So many shirtless hot anime men. Well, yeah, because those mm-hmm. those anime men they're just zero body fat, Woo! perfect hair. My yeah. God, you know mm-hmm. you can uh, just the chiseled jawlines. You yep. know they yep. got great jobs. Yeah, yeah, they do. You know what I mean? It's true. They're yeah. It fashion on point. S- simp's are. I am a simp for a lot of anime that? people. You, wow. it's hard. It, yeah. How Andrew has Andrew has that? had got had to get used to it because like a character will come on screen that I simp for and I'll be like, Wah! like I'll like have a reaction and Andrew will be like. God, it. Like he, like he'll, <laughs> he'll get like a, like, but he's gotten better about it because he's like, they're not real, they're not real, it's they're fine, not they're real. not real. They are not my competition. They're not real, it's fine. And then I'm over here like they're on my phone, like they're on my. I have my Apple Watch faces are a slideshow of all the anime men that I simp for. It's oh true. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, 100. Well, um, as we uh, wrap this episode up. Erica, is there any final words that you would like to say to our listeners and viewers? Perhaps like a hot anime right now, not character, a hot anime, <laughs> like like you know, like a good animes to maybe start or things that are hot right now or mm-hmm. anything. Sure, um, I always say that people should, especially now, people should start with. I think Demon Slayer, it's really good story, and the animation is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. So it's a really good entrance to the medium, and it's available on, like, Netflix. So you don't have to, like, go to a streaming service Demon to watch Slayer. it. So Demon Slayer. So someone who has no idea about anime and wants to dive in and take it, you know, and, and start to digest this new world here, Demon Slayer is the first uh, show to go I re- on? I recommend Demon Slayer. I think it's an, yeah, I think it's an easy watch. I think it gives you a nice sprinkling of, like, Derpy anime, action anime, ro- it, m- romance, horror, gore. It's all in there. And it's all, and it's incredible storytelling. Okay. So I recommend it highly. Well, fantastic. Guys and gals and sons and demon and slayers and senpais <laughs> and, gold and, <laughs> and goldfinches and goldfinches and hentais. 
Guys, Not thank hentai. you so and much. Hentai. Specifically hentai. Thank you so much for watching what have I done? the the <laughs> Sons and Senpais of Doozy. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, comment what your favorite tip was. I mean, we all know what your favorite tip was. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 If, I, 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 if you have a tip or a link to a specific hentai thing, you know, tell us. Uh, don't we, post we, porn we, we on the comments. So, uh, post porn in the comments. <laughs> My guys, God. Guys, please uh, share share this episode with your friends especially if you want to make anime friends and you know that they'll yeah. enjoy this episode and please if there is anything that you want to learn and let us teach you while we also learn about it let us know yeah and next Friday we're <laughs> all going to Naruto run to <laughs> area yeah. 51 so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so get ready for that get ready for the invitation you'll get so. there a lot faster yeah. yes um, and uh, any any final words here no nah, man just well anime is cool now watch it Anime is cool. cool. Watch now, it. Now. I love See that. you next episode, guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Someone have sex with me so I can power.